You look great. Y'all show y'all love. How you doing, girl? I am great. You look fabulous, Thank you, know? you. Thank you. All right, all right. Let me, let me get this correct. Okay. Latoya Luckett has spent 25 total days at number one. I, I can't even keep up with all the things you're doing. No male. Thank y'all for that. For real. <laughs> nobody's done that, male or female, since 2003. You wow. understand how big that is? That's huge. That's huge. Y'all have kept her on the top, man. Yes. Thank uh, y'all so how, much. How does it feel? How does it all feel right now? Blessed. I'm so happy. Did, so did, you, did you ever think that you'd be back as a solo artist going this hard and this strong? You know what? I never saw myself as a solo artist. I was so comfortable in a group situation, and I'm a people person, so it was a little different for me. And I had to get used to it, but God totally took me out of my comfort zone, and I'm happy, and I'm just loving y'all's support. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I'm definitely excited. You definitely look comfortable yourself as a solo artist. I got to see you at Madison Square Garden do your thing. You on tour yeah. with Mary J. Blige. What's up, Mary? You know, I mean, you killed it at Madison Square Garden. Thank you. you control that stage. I mean, that's a big look. Are you getting any advice from Mary J., you know, backstage? Y'all talk and have a little girl talk? It's crazy because um, I sat down and talked to her yesterday, and she basically told me that you know to stay confident stay focused um, keep God first and to not let anyone's opinion affect you as long as you're number one in God's book and as long as you you love yourself then that's all that matters no one's no one else's opinion ever matters besides Amen. That. you gotta love the sit downs with MJV so yeah. how are you liking it how much, how much long do you have left on the tour girl I wish it could continue forever <laughs> I'm going to cry when this one's over. Um, goodness, we have probably like 29 more dates left. 29 oh, more dates hey, left. Be sure y'all yeah, check out. We'll be That's in the city look. near you. <laughs> I can't wait to go. So you've had a, a, some bumps in the road along your career. What do you want people to learn from your story in the music industry? All the things you've been through. Um, goodness gracious. One, I know my album comes out tomorrow. I have to say that. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me if it sells one album or one million albums because just the fact that God blessed me with an opportunity to have a solo album and I never saw myself doing that, it's a blessing. So anybody that's out there that's struggling to do something or they don't feel that they, they can do it, keep on going. Let me be an example of that and, and, and keep God first and, and put him in the driver's seat of your situation because that's what I did. I stepped aside and I let God take total control of my career and my entire life. And I, Amen. anybody that's trying to do that, keep focused, stay focused. Well, we definitely know she's going to be blessed with more than a million sold. And that's right, all right? <laughs> so we got more with Latoya Luckett <laughs> on the way. Plus a brand new joint. Get ready to see it. She don't right here on 106 and 4. T's top 10 live. This beautiful lady sitting in all black is Latoya Luckett and Kate in it. No. <laughs> What's going down? Her self titled solo album will be in stores tomorrow. Yes, now, tomorrow. Yeah. Tuesday. I hate giving the dates. It'll be in tomorrow, Tuesday. Tuesday. Don't forget tomorrow. Yes, yes. How yes. long um, did you work on the album? How long did it take you? It took me uh, about two, three years. But before we get into this, I have to present y'all with what something. You? Oh, I did a little shopping. You know, I like the shopping. Y'all know I like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's Here this, are some yeah? watches from Crossover. Oh. Is, I forgot if it's rude. Can you open it up right in front yeah, of the person? I, can't, mm, no, I don't know we if that's... We're going to have to open, open it. Up I want to look at it. Yeah. All right. All right. We go. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, thank y'all for having me on here. I already know you got the shopping gene in you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it took me about two years, and the reason I guess it took so long is because I was coming into my own. I never saw myself as a solo artist, so I really didn't know, you know, how it was to be a solo artist. So I got in the studio and grinded it out with some great writers and producers. Uh, Dave Young, who is in the audience right now, uh -oh. is the first person that I wrote with. He's actually the one that got me comfortable with being a solo artist. We got in the studio in this like little hole in the wall studio and um, did like five records. When I say no AC, no ventilation, six folks Man. in one room trying to do some records, but we cut like five of the best records that are on my album that's, that's coming out up. tomorrow. And I thank Dee because he 
you helped me out so much, for real. And that's also Mary J. Blige's new artist, that's Matriarch, right. and Inner Sound Entertainment new artist. So check him out. He's, he's coming out. He a monster. He, he's yeah. there. I got to check him out. I got to see him come up with Mary. See? So he was doing see? his thing, Davion. He's yeah. a sign hey. he's, he's off the chain. And tonight yes. is also the second part of your reality show, the H-Town Yes, it is. Chick. The H-Town Chick. really good. That's a hand, baby. That's a whole nother situation. Make sure y'all tune in. It comes on at 10 o'clock here on BET. Mm -hmm. um, it's a reality show, and it's kind of showing my day-to-day -day and, you know, what I go through every day trying to trying to do this solo thing. The life thing. of Latoya. The life of Latoya. <laughs> yes, it's crazy. So check me out, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Well, tell you what. Now, when I say the name of a song, you tell me where you got the concept behind okay. it. All right? So when I say something for you, where did that oh, come Lord. from? <laughs> Something for you. Um, that's a love song. And the reason I like it is because it has a hard, groovy beat to it. But it's just talking about, you know, I'm calling them up. I'm like, why don't you come on over to the house? You know, uh -huh. I might have some candlelight dinner for you. And some okay. Come up you want to hook up real quick. So, you know. I like that song right there. <laughs> He's blushing. It's a, a real good song right there. You got yeah. another record called All Eyes On Me. Yes. Um, All, I, All Eyes On Me, which is also co-written with Dave Young. Um, that's just about... Be, being confident and getting ready to go to the club with your girls, you're looking right, got your fit on and everything, and um, you walk in and you just feel like all eyes on you. You ready okay. to go. What's up? Hey. Yeah. hey. It's featuring Paul Wall. Big shout outs to Paul. Uh-oh. Yeah. Mr. What It Do. Uh -huh. And also you got another one, Obvious. Now, where did you get that one from? Obvious. Okay. Um, That's written by Brian Michael Cox. Shout out to him. It's a deep record. A lot of folks are like, this is the next torn for real. Um, it's about being in a relationship and you love the person and you know that other person loves you and they saying they want to take it to the next level, if you know what I mean. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me you can look in their eyes this. and you can tell that they really not ready and you're just saying, hey, you, if you're not ready for this, then we don't have to do this because, you know, when you make crazy decisions that you're not ready for, you do something stupid. So how about we chill out, you get that to get up, together over there and we'll try LaToya, again. Latoya, I've been telling you I'm ready. I've been telling you I'm ready, Latoya. You ready? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> You got another record called You Got What I Need. You Got What I Need. It's about, you know, just being down with somebody and being in love and whatever we go through, I'm going to be there for you. Just know that. I'm All that right. shoulder. That's I, like, I think I like the concept for the first one best. You know, nah, I'm feeling that next up. step one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Now, in a minute, we'll check out Latoya's new joint, She Don't. But first... We're going to hit you with the number four video, Cherish, Do It To It. Do it let's talk it. more about this. <laughs> do It To It, Latoya. Yeah. Before we get into your new joint, she don't. We want to know some do's and don'ts for you. All right? You ready for this, girl? Okay. <laughs> now, let's just say some fella out there outside in the audience wants to holler at yeah. you. <laughs> what are some do's and don'ts for a guy that wants to approach you? Okay, do keep God first. And when I say you have to have a relationship with God, I don't mean you went to Sunday school when you were six and your mama made you go. I mean, you <laughs> trying girl. to use him in your daily life. Look at him putting up his cross. This you just bought a mess. Um, you have to be respectful. You have to know how to treat a woman. You have to have some, you know, a personality. Preach. Um, no lying. Do not lie. Do not cheat. Um, let me see. Just be funny. I'm goofy. I'm goofy and I'm country and I like to have fun. So, you know, having fun and enjoying life. Yeah. I love it. All right, I got a question. I got a question. Yes, sir. What are some of the do's and don'ts if a guy wants to cook dinner for you? Oh, Lord Jesus. Um, let me see. Is hamburger helper don't, okay? Don't try and make me nothing spicy. I can't do spicy foods. No spicy. I just, mm -mm, that don't work well. And, um... I don't, I don't know. I just think it's cute if a guy cooks. You know, just that he even put forth the little effort. You well, know? let me tell you. Terrence has the George Foreman grill ready oh. to go for you, okay? <laughs> I make some of the best, the best grilled cheese sandwiches in the country. And I love me some grilled cheese Trust sandwiches. So we straight. Try to help you out, Bobby. But what about if somebody that you're dating wants to take it to the next level? What are some do's and don'ts in there? Depending on which next level you talking about. Um, <laughs> the next level, I, I think that with anything you do in a relationship, you have to be ready. Uh, communication is very important. Trust is very important. So as long as you have those and you're grounded in your relationship and you, this is something you know you want to do, then fine. You know, 
Especially That's with marriage. What's up. Get you some counseling. I don't believe in getting married without counseling. So if your next step is marriage, go and get some counseling, marital counseling from your church, from the church house. Make sure you do that. Yeah. Definitely a deep lady right here. Why don't you go ahead and introduce your next video, mama? Hey! <laughs> my uh, new video uh, from my album coming out tomorrow is called She Don't. And the video has a surprise in it. If y'all don't know, I had a relationship and now I'm single, fellas. Holla. So um, this is kind of a reality. This is really what happened in my situation. So y'all watch it. This is She Don't right here on 106 and Park. <laughs> new joy of the day, Miss Latoya. Is she don't you got slim looking really in love over there mama hey. <laughs> now you already know how this works you got 10 seconds to tell the world why they need to vote your video number one on the countdown man vote this video one because it's a true life story and um it's just another it's another part of me it's people are seeing me dance now people are seeing another side of toya and uh make sure you go not only vote the video number one but make sure you go buy my album because really and truly Y'all don't know how much it means to me to have this opportunity. I'm very blessed, and 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 I'm about to get emotional, so I'm gonna start talking. But y'all really, I really appreciate y'all for real, because God did not have to bless me with this, and He did. So thank y'all. Please Truly go blessed. vote for that video right that. now. But Love thank y'all, thank y'all for real, for real. Go do that, or you can call us at 1-800-617 Live weekdays between 5:30 and 6 p.m. Get that video on the countdown. Get it on the countdown, y'all. Thank right. you so much. Vote it. Thank y'all again. For hey. keeping me number one for so long, too. For real. Hey, yo, go get the album tomorrow. Latoya's album isn't so. We got so much more on the way. It's 106 and Parks.